Well, for those of you that follow the uh, monthly kits that I provide, you know that this month we did Africa. So these are some of the journals that I made um, during this month. And so they are the new ones that are going to be in the Etsy shop. So I thought I'd do a video and show um, each individual one. There's quite a few, so I'm just going to like blabber real fast. And we're going to run through them as quickly as possible. <laughs> I don't know. We're going to try. Um, this one here is covered with some canvas and then some cantha quilt, a piece of board, a picture, and then it has the tassels that we made together. And um, here's the front, here's the back. Let me give you the dimensions because I always forget. This is nine by six and a half. And the spine is how big? Let's see. We can measure almost two inches. And here's the style of the binding that I did on that. And this tassel is just connected with a ball pin. So you can take that off if it's too bulky. I just have it there so I don't lose it. <laughs> um, now, the papers that I used in here, <coughs> excuse me are various types. I have coffee, I have tea, I have eco printed, I have leftovers, I've got a few rusty pages, you know, a little bit of everything like I put in my journals. And then I have a lot of ephemera that is just kind of sporadically put through the journal so that you can make this journal your own and a lot of space for journaling or arting or whatever that you do. So I will go through these pretty quickly. If you're familiar with my journals, you know I put all kinds of papers in here. And, um, oh, I made a little uh, paper clip thingamajigger. And I use the same papers pretty much throughout all of them. So. I'm not going to repeat myself. We'll just go through these very quickly so you can get an idea on this first one. And then almost all of my journals have similar stuff. Nothing looks very clean and pristine. All of mine's pretty grungy. This is an example of one of my rest um, pieces of paper. Some more of the rusty stuff. And you know, like I say, I'm going to go through these quickly. So if you have any question on any particular one, just reach out to me over on Etsy and Maybe I can answer your questions with a little bit more detail. But I am just going to kind of rush through these because I do have quite a few. And this was just a little packet of um, handmade papers that I thought you might be able to tear those apart and incorporate in some collages inside of the journal itself. Some mud cloth to play with. These were some hand printed pieces of fabric that I did. A little bit more of some rusted fabric there. It's also handmade paper made out of denim. More rusty pieces. I 
and there you go. Now what I also did for this one is this comes with this journal. It started off just a little a little folio like to put some of the ephemera and then whatever I had left over I divided it among all of the journals so it kind of grew. <laughs> and this was one of my cleanup papers. I I lay out some of my papers on top of file folders on purpose so that I can get these really grungy file folders. So I started to decorate this one and um, and these are just whoops these are a lot I'm not going to go through all of them but it's a whole bunch of leftover stuff and so you can decorate your journal with it and then this had some pages this one kind of went more toward the safari theme and I put in some papers that I had kind of grunched up a little bit just put a little a bit of that in there and folded this over to create a little side pocket. And just filled it up with all of this ephemera. This could be a whole journal onto itself. It could just be a place where you collect things. You can put it inside another journal or keep it together or whatever you choose to do. But these two will come together. All right. Okay, next. This one was more in line of safari than the other one. That one highlighted women of Africa. And this one has a little more lean toward um, the safari aspect of Africa. So this one is six, six by about nine and a half. And what I did with this one is I got this clipboard and I attached it to the front. Imagining if you were off on your little little trek somewhere, wherever it may be, it may be your own little backyard, who knows. But that way you can take the clipboard off. If you have some papers that you want to put on here to write on, draw on, whatever it is you want to do, everything is compact and put together. And this is just attached with some pieces of elastic. So here is the front of the journal. This is a little clipboard that comes with it. And then another one of these little folios like I just showed you that again, you know, has all of these um, pieces left over. And this is started for you, for you to finish up fill up with writings or drawings or use it as a glue book. That's what I end up doing all the time. So I'll put that back together. And that comes with that. So let's take a look at the journal itself. It, I think I gave you the dimensions already, right? So that's a little over nine by six and a half. And there is the spine, and the spine is about two inches. And there is the back. This is a really, really old um, book cover, and it literally has kind of fallen apart, but I thought it added to the look of it, you know, being used outdoors and traveling. So it's very worn. <laughs> and then in this one, I have a lot of, um, cardboard and grungy papers and all kinds of fun stuff. So this one you can't be shy about taking it outdoors. It's meant to go out there. It looks like it was already caught in the rain, right? <laughs> Forgot to put it in the tent one night and look what happened. And this one has this little little book in here. You can take notes. You can take that out with you. There's one there. More stuff. More goodies. Some more pages. 
and the spine in here has a piece of cancer quilt in there in to keep it all reinforced even though it's a hard back and a hard front and back uh, the spine is a soft spine but it's kept together with both of these types of fabrics all right so that is that one again it comes with this and it comes with its own tassel also all right then you guys that have been watching the kits that I have you saw that I had this one that was made out of um, a wire backing so I have two of these and these are put together with wire and we'll look through this one first this one I kept really simple in that I only uh, decorated the cover of each signature and then you'll see in a second all the other stuff that comes with it for you to decorate it yourself and these are all different types of papers uh, mixed media watercolor um, I think I have um, I better not say. I think it's another kind of paper, but I won't say because in case it's not. But for sure, <laughs> mixed media and um, watercolor paper. And you can see how it's bind here with these wires. I'll get you the dimensions to this in a second. five about five and a quarter by four and a half I love this size it fits so good in your hand okay so this comes also with a package of goodies let's see what they might be ooh we also made beads we made fabric beads and we made these bracelets so this one comes with a bracelet we also played around with air dry clay and I had these molds and I made these two figures. So you're going to get two of those, or one each of those. And that will come with that. And then a handful of all kinds of goodies. I had some little um, pieces that had the names of various countries in Africa. So I cut those out. These are just things I tore off of other stuff. You might want to use those to create some kind of tags and other grungy papers. And then just all kinds of uh, leftover goodies that you can play with to put in your journal. You know, you've seen the stuff I put in my stuff. <laughs> the stuff I put in my stuff. There you go. That's articulate. Okay. So that goes in there. That goes in there. You get the clay figurines and your bracelet and your journal. I made two of those. This one's made a little differently. I had some stencils, so I used some spackling to. Um, Push through the um, stencils and created these um, pages and this is about the same size pretty much yep five by four and a half and a variety again of papers This one has a few eco dyed. This one did not. 
maybe one page per signature has some of that um, paper that we talked about that bleeds through and creates these cool colors, the uh, construction paper. There's another one of those raised up ones. And again, just the first page on each signature, I have one of the pictures of the lady. Oops. Oh, I tied that down. It's a pocket. Okay. And the same thing in here. You got one of those figurine, two of those clay figurines, a bracelet, and then all the ephemera goodies. All right. So that's that. Moving right along. <laughs> 20 minutes later. Okay, so I have a bunch of these. Now, they are all different, but what is the same is they all come with um, a tassel. They all come with a little variety of these. I cut out some collages that I had made. There's a little variety of that. They each come with two of the um, altered paper clips. And then each of them come with one of those beaded bracelets and then each of them is a little folio um, that just has stuff okay and they're partially decorated with fabrics and and pictures and stuff and then inside I also have some ephemera for you to play with and add to and you can do whatever it is that you do 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 and like I said they are all different and I have um, one of these that um, they each have a different one but I printed these out some of them are different collages that I've done and so you can you know do whatever you want with that so this can just be a folio where you carry things in. It You can create your own journal out of it, whatever you choose. Um, that is something that you can just use in your own little creative way. And we all have our different uses, but this is what comes with it. And these are going to be numbered because I have eight of these. I'm starting with number five because my other four numbers are gone. <laughs> number five. Let me put this back in here. And so because everything is on the outside is the same, I'm just going to pull each one out and let you see the difference in them. But that one was number five. And this one is number six. Number six. Number seven. Number seven. Number
We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. Number nine. Again, that's a little little goodies to play with. That was number nine. Three more to go. Number ten. Oh, and if I fail to say, I'm sure you figured it out, these are all made with file folders that I eco-dyed, boiled, or something. <laughs> They've been through the ringer. Just how I like them. Number 11. page in the back. One more to go. One more to go. We're almost there. Number 12. Okay, another little collage piece in the back, and can you believe it? That's it, number 10, yay! So, <laughs> there's eight of this style, and then there's two of the two of the wire ones. And then two of the larger one, one of the safari with the clipboard, and then one more concentrated on the women of Africa, along with also this little folio. And this comes with the folio too. Oh my goodness. <sighs> so if you're interested in any of these, these will be <laughs> these will be in the shop. And uh, there's something for everybody, a wide variety of price ranges. And I really, really hope they find a new home. And I hope that new home is with you. Thank you.